It can be really easy to feel overwhelmed by all of the AI video options, but let's break them down so we can feel normally whelmed. We're gonna look at four different types of AI video, text to video, video to video, image to video, and deep fakes. There are multiple tools for each of these, and I'll mention a few, but this video will mostly focus on understanding the concepts. Text to video is basically a typewriter that makes movies. To create a video, you write what's called a prompt. Think of the prompt as a visual description of what you wanna see. Some tools will let you use a negative prompt, which is where you describe what you don't wanna see. And sometimes you'll hear people talking about a seed, which is just a random number where all the math starts, but it's important for creating consistency. If you have the same prompt and the same seed, you'll get a consistent video. So if you use a slightly modified prompt with the same seed, you'll get a slightly modified, meaning hopefully similar, result. When writing video prompts, think like a screenwriter, not like a director of photography. Usually words like cinematic or shallow depth of field impact the video more than listing out camera models or focal lengths of lenses. Words at the beginning of the prompt have more weight than words at the end. I usually order my prompts with character, setting, style. So the most popular form of text to video for filmmakers is what you see in tools like Runway Gen 2, Xeroscope, Full Journey, and Pika, where you write a prompt and get a video that's currently anywhere from 3 to 16 seconds long. Another style of text to video is done in stable diffusion using an extension called Deforum, which gives you longer videos and allows you to change the prompts over time. The prompts look like this, where the numbers here are the frame numbers, and the videos end up looking like this. It's a distinct animation style that blends images rather than replicating traditional video. Video to video involves taking one video, adding a prompt that's usually either text or an image, which drives the look for a new video. You've probably seen this with Runway Gen 1, where the motion is the same, but the entire style of the video changes. In Stable Diffusion, there's an extension called ControlNet that allows you to do similar video to video type of animations. Image to video is great for having a little more control over what your generated video will look like because you're starting with an image rather than a text description. Some tools like Pika Labs let you add a text prompt so you can have a horse or a dune buggy or I don't know, a tank enter the frame. Other tools like Runway will give you a stunning video but without any control or they'll give you control but it won't really look like your source image. Stable Diffusion lets you use something called guided images where you change the image at intervals or you can use an initial image so you have a consistent starting point then write prompts to go in different directions. Image to image is great for establishing shots or for non-dialogue shots with a subtle amount of movement. And finally, deep fakes. Deep fakes let you bring characters to life and talk. I know people use deep fakes for bad things, but let's use them for good things instead. The most common deepfakes start with an image and create a video by lip syncing an audio file or using text to voice. We've come so far. Tools like Synthesia, DID, and HeyGen do this, but they call them digital presenters or AI avatars instead of deepfakes. You can also do video to video deepfakes, and one tool that's been around since 2020 is called Wave to Lip which has been trained on low resolution videos, so your results may look a little blurry compared to image-based deepfakes. Wow, that sounds pretty cool actually. So those are the basics of AI video, text to video, video to video, image to video, and deepfakes. We're entering a time where the only limit to the kind of movie you make will be your own imagination, creativity, and originality. So go read a novel, go look at art, start writing ideas down in a journal because the most important skill to have in the future of AI video is human creativity.